Hey Stampers, it's Gaynor again. Uh, my beautiful granddaughter asked me to make her a card for her school leaving because she leaves school tomorrow and then goes in September up to the big school so she's gone from a little uh, little junior kid, she's going up to the seniors, bless her, so and it's quite overwhelming thinking it was seems like yesterday that we were cutting the cord, me and my daughter, I was her birth partner and we were holding that little bundle of joy in our hand and now she's 11 and she's going on to big school and oh, I'll be, time just flies beyond your control so I'm not using I am using Stampin' Up card uh, this is that beautiful blueberry bushel I've got the gorgeous ribbon um, but that's it that's all it comes and, it, and I'm using the layering circle dies um, I've gone ahead and cut my scallop circle out I've even gone, this is the card I'm using on the front, but I'm going to, I've cheated. Instead of wasting paper, I've cut that out the centre. That's going to get layered on there. This is going to get stuck back over on here. But first of all, we're going to put our layering paper over here. So, let me just show you this card. And it's a stamp set called um, Bookworm by Clearly Besotted. And look how cute he is. I think I did him the little worm a little bit dark. But isn't he cute? I like big books and I cannot lie. <laughs> the thing is, I'm using the Stamparatus because um, I have to ink them a couple of times. So uh, they be, I've just mounted them on blocks and then forgot I did it on my uh, big shot. So this is the card I'm making. I haven't decorated the inside yet because this is my display card so this one I'm going to do tonight I will put a centre in as well so I've used the largest of the circles which is number eight you start with the small number work your way out and the largest of the scallops and I think there's a number nine in that one so um, like I'm saying I'm using so you need two pieces of whisper white They're both measuring the same that's got a little mark on so it's in over that's for the inside this is the blueberry bushel I'm um, just gonna fold this in half she's going to be back shortly they've gone to the park um, we picked them up after school Bampy is just he's, he's excellent with them he's absolute superstar that didn't line up very well so let me just manipulate my card into getting itself straight oh is a god send these bowls and folders that's better nice and straight now we're going to pop this on the inside. The only thing is, I, with my little stamp set, there was an apple with it. <laughs> Where have I put it now? And uh, my apple has gone missing. So we've got A, B, C, A to Z. We've got a little scroll. Uh, it says, to a leader, uh, to a reader tomorrow. Uh, today a reader, tomorrow a leader. Uh, think before you speak, read before you think. Read, eat, sleep in that order. <laughs> Get lost in a book. And it's cool to be clever. But I like that one. I like big books. And I cannot lie. And it just reminded me of the song. So, And Lola's uh, a, a, quite a funky little chick. So, yeah. I've gone and cut out my circle that I need. So why waste paper? No one's going to see that once we've adhered that down. Then it's going to get attached to here, so it's not like it's going to be unstable in any way, shape or form. I think I should have uh, done what I did the other day, though. I should have... Ooh, I know I should have done. <laughs> Go on, explain, they're all saying. I should have left my circle and then cut it out after. I'm gonna, it's going to be quite hard for me to keep this little stamp in place. Unless, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'll work it out because it's photopolymer. I'm going to try and keep this quite central so I can grab my magnet through a piece of plate. <laughs> so because I'm going to put my my bookmark, it, uh, the bookshelf, it doesn't go all the way. It Basically, I just want to see the top of the card. It doesn't matter there's a little overhang. I just, uh, I, and I want to make sure, there, where's my card gone? Yeah, it just fits, but I want to make sure I can get this sentiment underneath. If worse comes to it, 
that will stay put. I can always, let me just make sure I've got that, have I got that level actually? Oh, I'm going to click the corner off that one, it doesn't really make any odds. I just want my bookshelf to be in there. I'm just going to, that looks pretty cool actually, what do you reckon? Oh, right, I'm going to pick it up. Press it down. And then I'm going to grab my memento. I love using the Stamparatus and I've used it quite a bit just lately. It's one of them, oh it's a toy, I've got to have it, blah blah blah. But I've been using it quite a lot, so. I press my image down. And this is great because I know I'm going to miss bits. See? <laughs> I uh, am a bit blind in the old age. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep inking it until my image is perfect. And I know where to press. That looks a bit better. Just wondering. I need to go along that edge. And a little bit more by that book there. So It doesn't matter how many times you do it, as long as you do it and get it right, isn't it? So, fingers crossed. A little bit more along that line, and I think we're done. And if worse comes to it, I'll grab the ruler and my black marker pen. I don't think we'll have to do that, but it's just an alternative. Perfect! Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'm going to wipe my little stamp clean and my stamparatus. I like to keep it all neat and tidy and peel that off. Put that with my stamps. Now I've got this beautiful little bookworm. Oh my gosh. And I want to sit his little tushy right on that line. So it looks like he's sitting on the books. I don't want him to slouch like that, but I want him to sit head up proud on that book. So I'll squash that down, pick him up, ink my little worm up. I love the size on his glasses, they're just so adorable. Whoops, I'm going to mark that off. Make sure we get his little. Oh, look at those glasses. They're just so sweet. Oh, perfect. First time. Absolutely brilliant. I could have got a slightly little bit higher, but we're going to do some colouring anyway, so you won't see that. <coughs> and now for my... I'm going to... I've got to be really careful now. I've got to swap my magnet over. So I can get my sentiment. I want it all contained into this circle. Thing is, I gotta make sure that's nice and straight. Uh, let's have a look. No, I I could actually. I'm gonna press that down. Look, now I can see. I'm gonna come over this way, and I can line this up now on my grid, because there's a slight line on here. And I can test that before I... Yeah, that looks a lot squarer to me. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so she wants this card for the morning. So... I can't believe she's leaving school. I'm going to do it one more time because I want the word book to stand out. And I want it as dark as I can get it. So I'm just stamping over the word book. And I'm coming back in. Perfect, absolutely perfect. It's lined up nicely. Oh, I think that's so cute. I waited for these to come. And there we go. So you don't have to push it up in a corner. These magnets are fantastic. And as long as that card does not move, then you can stamp anywhere on your position. And I've just done it on a circle in the center of the board. I have not pushed it against anything. I've not lined it up with this even so I, oh see look straight line it's perfect if as long as you don't move it you can stamp 
anywhere on here. And I think we've done an excellent job of that. And look at that, I've got new, I bought new uh, glue. Oh my gosh, I've run out of Tombow. Well, I haven't, I've got a little bit left, but I didn't want to spend £5 on delivery. Just for a £3.75 bottle of glue. And, oh look at that, isn't that, oh it's so cute. Oh my God. And then he's going to get attached on here once we've done our colouring. Fingers crossed I don't go over the lines. So I bought this. It's called Cosmic Shimmer. And it's a specialist acrylic glue. And this is three times the size of a Tombow. And a Tombow is like £4. And this cost me £7.50. So I'm getting three for the price of two. So, ooh. And I had that off craft stash but um, they sell it on Amazon as well so you can get it all over the country and uh, sorry all over the world should I say because I'm sure they deliver to other countries right oh my gosh let's get the pens going I would zoom in but for some reason it leaves all digital markings around you know zoom in zoom out I'm using my Santoro pens again I love these so I can try, but if it's on the video, please don't blame me because I don't know how to get the display off. <laughs> <coughs> so if there's any colours I haven't got, I can go back to, I can use my blends as well. So you've got a lovely fine tip and you've got quite a thick one as well, for more precise. So let's have a look. So I'm having a brown bookshelf. I know I switch off when I'm colouring, but I just love it. It goes in a world of my own. Oh, love it. Can you see that okay? Shall I try and zoom in for you? Oh, I don't know if I can. Let me try. There we go. How's that? Is that a bit better? You'll be able to see all my boo-boos now. Have I missed anything? It's on playback that the display is there, so I'll have to have a read of my book. Let's see if I can get the playback. If you don't see anything on the video, then I've cracked it. <laughs> but if you do, I'm sorry. These pens, oh, I love all pens. I love my blends. I love my Spectrum Noirs when I had them. I was making way for the blends so I sold my Spectrum and now I wish I hadn't. They're like 72 colours. And the glitter pens. When you see me the, use the black Wink of Stella it's actually a Spectrum Noir clear sparkle pen and it's it's beauty if we get three for ten pounds over here. Right, let's squidge this around because I don't want to put my fingers in it because this will take a little bit to dry. Not a lot, but it will take a little bit. And I don't want to smudge anything. Oh my god, it's just so adorable. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna have my red again for the books. I'm gonna show you the fine tip end. I'm gonna swap the book colours up as well, so I'm going over this side. How dainty that nib is. And I think, no I didn't, I used the dark brown and I'm going to make the pages a little bit lighter on this one. I'm just going to try and give it a really cheerful look. So I could sit in colour for hours and hours and hours. I should go around, get all my other stamps, stamp loads of images, sit in fussy cut, and then make loads of different cards in it. So I'm going to do the spine on this book as well. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to do the spine on this one. I do my eyes go a little bit blurry after a bit. 
you know, you're trying to focus on one tiny little spot. He is just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Love him. Right, I'm choosing to do my little snake in this pale green. I had it on one of the books and I think I'm going to be able to see my image better. If I contain him to the the palest colour to him instead of it, that darker colour, which was lovely. I think I prefer to see all the imagery of this beautiful bookworm. And I'm not even doing anything special, I'm just drawing lines. Trying to make sure I don't go over the edge. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh. And that's nice and dry now. Yeah, you don't have to go wild. You don't have to be the best colourer in the world. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love him so much. And I'm sorry about the lighting for some reason. Um, I'm going to come over this way a little bit. I tend to... It's, the sun is so bright outside. It doesn't half give me a glare. So let's see what we've got with it. I'm going to do him a navy hat. I haven't got black in this. I'm gonna, so I'm going to do him a nice little blue hat instead. Why do we assume worms are men? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say that. <coughs> Sorry about my cough. I have had it now for more than three weeks and it's really driving me at the wall, so I'm going to go and see the GP next week. Absolutely stunning. And for felt pens, it nearly cost me £10 for 12 that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving that. So I've got this beautiful, oops, this beautiful purplish colour. Let me find a bit of scrap. Oops, I'm going to just fetch something out of the bin so I can just check my colours. Oh, it's lovely deep purple. So because he's bombing, I think I'm going over the edge here. I'm going to have the rim of his book there. And I might leave um, the pages white. I did them dark brown on the other. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to have this book. Little tabs. Oh, I love it. I'm going to colour this book in as well, because Lola's teacher is a female. So I reckon they'll find this quite hilarious. Bless her, she's gone out and bought her loads of little presents. And I said, why didn't you tell Nanny? I could have done a desk tidy little notebook and pens she could put to carry around in her handbag. She was like, I forgot Nanny. I said, how can you forget Nanny Crafts? <laughs> Bless her soul. I'm going to try this little pink. This is like a shocking pink. Oh, I love that. So I'm going to have the rim of this book. I'm going to keep it nice and bright and cheerful. There's any boob boobs? Lola can tell her she made it herself. <laughs> it's like cheating. Right, I'm gonna have the spine of this book in pink. And now I love I love colouring. It's just oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's see if we've got this beautiful pale blue, see what this one looks like. I love that. I'm going to do this end book here.
Oh, I love it. I love that word. I like big books. Books, not butts. <laughs> butts is on the song. It's Frankie's favourite song, that is, butts. Yeah, I like big butts. Nanny shouts at me. And he's like four years old. I think he's only ever heard it once on the radio. So I'm going to do the opposites here. I'm going to have a darkest labels there. This book's going to be dark and then I'm going to come back with that other pen and do the light labels. I just fell in love when I saw this stamp set. I'm not even a bookworm myself. Lola loves to read, thankfully. I'm a more of a visual person. If I can see it on a movie, that's way better for me. I don't want to sit and read a book and imagine and then when I watch the movie be disappointed because my imagination is nothing compared to watching a movie. But then other people say it's the other way around for them. So did I use this pale one then? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, let's turn this round now. That's the one. So we've mixed and maxed our books. Oh, a little label there as well. I just think it's so cute. Right, with that tab, I think I'm going to go for a brown colour. Just so it's like the bookmark. But I'm going to leave the pages white. There we have it. I love that. It's just so, so cute. So there's my colouring. These pens, absolutely stunning. Nah, uh, 9 99 in the range. I know after my lovely friend Ian saw them, he went out and bought them as well. Cracking. So let's get some gluing put together. And this, it's got a beautiful fine tip. And you don't need a lot and it comes off cleans up and doesn't stick to your fingers very well and if it does it just peels right off whoops but it's a very strong glue I'm gonna need that off anyway so let's light. Oh, let me just zoom back out now is it I was forgetting then I was zoomed in so I'm gonna press from the back so I don't smudge Oh my gosh, he's just so cute. Right, I'm going to zoom back out. Whoops. There we go. I'm going to fetch in my card and my layers now, which we're going to attach. I'm going to try and find something to decorate the inside. I'm going to tie some bows. I'm going to attach the card first, and I'm going to use this beautiful... Glue, uh, glue because it can get right up into the corners of this. There's hardly anything. This my friend Georgie uses this, and it, I asked her where she had it from. So I think she had hers off Amazon, but I found it a little bit cheaper than what my old Maca paid. My old Maca means my best friend or one of my friends. All right, my old Maca. So there's that piece of card. We've just had this gorgeous image. I could leave that that, but it's boring. We want some colour. Now this I had from the range. Let me show you that pad. And it's just absolutely divine. This was like £1.50. You get 50 sheets, five of each, at 10 different designs. And it's all to do with dreamy, you know, the skies and stuff. But you've got these gorgeous lines. Um, then you've got this like night sky, red sky at night, shepherd's light with little stars. You get five of those. And then these beautiful, beautiful butterflies or flowers even. You see, you know, they're beautiful. And then you've got this like, oh, even better sky. Absolute view is beautiful. So when I use my favourite thing stamp set, the little uh, pirate, uh, not pirates, the little space smart. Oh, I could just attach some little figures and a way to go. You get five of those, and then there's those beautiful dots. You get five of them, but I've only got 
three left and then more detail it looks like it's got sparkling shimmer over the top so there's five of those look at that absolutely beautiful then a more of a blue sky and then these gorgeous triangles absolutely stunning and then this purpley sky absolutely beautiful so I bought it just for my favorite things and I got the um, the seaside one as well so I'm gonna attach some of this glue what I'm gonna do is no I'm gonna have to do it on here so I don't get any everywhere I can have it add it all over on here because it doesn't matter if it fills that circle you can tell this is really good glue. I'm sure all you other crafters out there have heard of Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue. So I want to get my border just right. I'm just going to use my bone folder to press this into place. If you're watching Georgie, I hope you're feeling better soon, my darling, because she's got the most terribly bad back. Bless her soul. And I don't like to see anyone. I know it's like back pain. So I'm going to pull the dots off as well as these bits. Put my little tin in. I don't like to see anything go to waste. These were from the, the range as well. I think it cost me a pound. But pull the negatives off and fill in gaps like this. If you, you know, they were a pound for the whole sheet. Why not use other products? Who says we've got to stick to one? I know I had a lot more stuff than this before I joined. I only joined for the discount. Anyway, I don't sell to anyone, so... I had a lady say she was trying to find me, and I was like, you'll never find me, because I don't sell to anybody else. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a nasty way. I just... I just want to take it at my own pace. So I'm going to come down a wee little bit. I make sure my scent, you can just drop this on. It looks pretty central to me and the words are straight. So once you press down, then it's stuck. So I'm gonna put the lid back on my glue. Don't want it drying up. Fetch. Oh, I need to put that back on the bottom of my stamp apparatus. Certainly don't wanna lose that. Right, and I'm gonna fetch in no, I'm going to do my bow freehand. I did that on the bow maker and it doesn't seem to sit well for me. And this way, if I've got any waste, I won't have any really because I can pull it. And if I do, it'll only be off one side. So always let go. I did a boo boo with that. <laughs> I love the bow maker, don't get me wrong, but you. You know, you can't rely on something forever. So. My tail's not going to be long enough, is it? No, and it's facing the wrong way. So, gain a start again. You watch me go back to the bow maker in a second. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yes, I've had this bad chest now for longer than expected. That's better. So I can pull these little tabs now. And I can even turn it around to see which way is best. And my little tab there, because we can mess it, manipulate it and twist it round, loosen it slightly, I can twist that back bit so it's the same. Am I twisting it the wrong way? That's it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yay, I think. No, 
now, it's still twisted, <laughs> but still cute, still very cute. I can turn it over so I've got the best side, perfect. I think I like that bit. I'm just going to untwist those tails. I want to leave them pretty long. So I can, and I could look, see the bow is neater this way, so I can turn that over and have my little bow on that side, and I love it, it's just so cute. Whoops, I nearly drop that then. Took that back in itself. I'm going to grab a glue dot and I'm going to wrap, I'm going to try and fold it. There we go. You don't need it open wide because this is such a small. So I'm going to roll it on my paper. And then I can attach that lovely little bow. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that. That is so cute. Cute, cute, cute. So I think because I did this one on the bow maker, look how it looks a bit uh, square. Like, yeah, uniform. This one looks more of. Uh, like a proper bow. Right, I was gifted some beautiful, beautiful little gems by the gorgeous Denise. They came in a packet with these gorgeous flowers and these beautiful dots. And I've pulled three out for this card, same as what I have on here. And believe it or not, I attached them with blue dots, but I'm going to use the, but it left a bump on the page. Grab my little three little gems that I've set aside. Fetch them in. They're just beautiful. They match gorgeous with this card. So I'm going to turn them over. And I'm going to open my glue again. And because this has got the tiny little nozzle, I'm just going to add a dot. On the back of each one. Come on. Oops, I've turned it the wrong way. Don't worry about that, I'll pick it up now. And what I did, I might scatter these ones. So easy to get this off. Press on it, rubber. And it's gone. So I'm going to scatter these and I'm just using my piercing tool. Where can I put this one? I'm going to pop this one here. And it cleans off here as well as a dream. Pull it off and it's clean as well, clean as a whistle again. Oh, let's get with like, let's have a look and see what stamps we've got for the inside. Really, I haven't got much in the way of books. I the one I could say there was an apple, but I've lost it, I can't find it anywhere, and I'm really quite gutted about that. So, I'm just gonna add this little scroll, I think. And I've got a little A, plus, but. Oh, I don't know, it's way tiny, that little A plus is so tiny. But I've got the lovely little scroll. And I'm going to see if there's another sentiment I can put in. So, let's have a nose, see what we've got. I like big books and I cannot lie. Uh, sleep is good, but books are better. It's cool to be clever. Uh, I think we're going to have read, eat, sleep in that order. I'm just going to use a little block. Fingers crossed I ink this up perfectly. Because it's photopolymer, we can see it as well. So.
I'm just going to pull it down because I don't want to get my head in the camera. And just let the ink absorb into the paper. Cool. That is cool. Love it. So I'm just going to dot a few of these beautiful little scrolls all over the place. Oh, right there, because it's photopolymer, and if I'm careful enough. Oh, that was a good save, wasn't it? That's better. I can always go over that with my little uh, pen. Oh, I think she's going to love this. Oh, bless her soul. She's so excited about going to the big school. I'm going to have one more here. What do you reckon? She can write a message in there. I might pop one in. Just going to pop one more in there because I want an odd number. So, Oh, a little boo-boo. Oh, don't worry. Lola can tell her teacher she made it. <laughs> and not her experienced nan. <laughs> I might be able to get rid of that with my sand rubber, actually. Got one of these mono sand erasers, and they are brilliant. That's nearly gone. It has. I'll tell you what I'm going to do there, because it's a female teacher. I'm going to grab a little rhinestone. Or a little, I'm going to grab a little love heart. And I'm going to pop that right there. It's amazing what a gem can do for you, and it save your life. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. So I'm just going to grab a bit of fast fuse, just to add this to the inside. Job is a good one. Oh my gosh, that is just so cute. Why did it do a blue card? No, as she said, her teacher's favourite colour is blue, so I'm quite okay there. Just seen a tiny little mark there. Perfect. There we go, there it is. Read, eat, sleep in that order. And I might colour those in at a later stage, I'll let Lola do them, but there's my card. I hope you like it. Lola will love it. She liked this one, but I think now she can see the worm a little bit better. I think she's just going to enjoy that. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, I'd love a thumbs up uh, and a share, that would be amazing. And if you want to subscribe, if you've not subscribed yet, there's a little button here that says subscribe. And if you uh, want to see what I do tomorrow, then press the little bell straight after and that will notify you each time I upload a video. I do my best to try and upload every single day. Um, it's just, it keeps me sane. Oh, if I hadn't got my craft in, I think I would have gone man uh, mad years ago <laughs> so i'm gonna love and leave you all but thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by you're all so kind love you all to the moon and back bye